Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a long time since I posted any video, but then I felt today's occasion is worthy of one. Uh, in this video, I'll be, uh, you know, showcasing various features of uh, this ROM, which is called the Unlegacy Project. It's an AOSP ROM which runs Android Pi on a Nexus 5 device. Um, you know, if you check out my channel, you'll realize that most of my videos cover uh, uh, topics with respect to the Nexus 5, and most of the videos that I've made were also made using the Nexus 5. Uh, it isn't my daily driver anymore, I bought another phone, but then I was, I'm always interested in checking out new things, so I flashed a ROM which is, as I said, called the Unlegacy Project, which runs Android Pi on your Nexus 5. Uh, before this, I uh, flashed AOSP Extended on, uh, that is Android Oreo, but I wasn't impressed with the performance and my phone started lagging a lot, so I switched back to Nougat. As we all know, Google stopped giving out, uh, you know, genuine updates for the Nexus 5 post Marshmallow. So Marshmallow was the official, last official update that Google gave out for the Nexus 5. But then the phone when it came out was, was one of the most uh, widely bought phones and it had a cult following since then amongst a few people. Uh, because of its, uh, you know, perfect uh, screen ratio, the build, uh, the only issue many of them found was the battery life and uh, a power button and so on and so. Uh, but then, uh, uh, since I bought a new phone, I had, try, had time to experiment and uh, I'm running this ROM which is called, uh, as I said, uh, the Unlegacy Project. As you can see, it's genuine Android version 9 uh, with a, almost a recent security patch as well. So, uh, how do you go about getting this ROM? I'll put a link down in the description that will give you details on how do you go about getting this ROM. Uh, one thing you might have to you ha you have to keep in mind is that the code name Google gave for the Nexus 5 uh, is Hammerhead. However, uh, in my time of flashing ROMs and experimenting, I I knew that there were two versions of ROMs, which is called Hammerhead and Hammerhead CAF, where CAF stands for Code Error or Forum. You can check out check out more about CAF down in the I'll put a, I'll put a link down in the description. You can check out more about it there. So I always flashed only Hammerhead ROMs, but then uh, I realized that uh, more work is done more work is being done on the CAF version of the ROM by the devs at, you know, by the devs of Unlegacy Project. So I went about getting a custom recovery supported CAF. I mean, you can do that. I'll put down a link in the description as to how you can go about doing that. So once you do that, all you have to do is do a normal flash, which is removing everything except your internal storage, flash the ROM, flash gaps. You can find gaps in opengaps.org. And then if you want to root it, flash the latest magic and you're done. Once you boot in, you can see that, uh, you know, the performance is really snappy. I mean, I haven't had any issues with it. I feel it's almost better than the Android Oreo performance. I will put it par with Android Nougat. And many people, when they flash a very recent version of uh, OS on a device that actually doesn't support it, have issues with respect to what works and what doesn't. So in my experience, I've seen that, as you can see, mobile data, which is LTE, is working. Uh, obviously, VOLTE isn't supported on the Nexus 5, so you can't do anything about that. And uh, camera works. Uh, I mean, camera works. There's no issues with respect to the camera. And uh, I've done video recording as well, and I, I've seen that there's no issues of any green line. You can go about using the old version of Google Camera, which is... Uh, the last one which HDR support, uh, you can do that either using Magisk or side loading an APK. And uh, anything else that works is that digital well-being, which is an Android Pi only feature as well works. It lets you know about the various unlocks, the various notifications, keep track of uh, what's happening in your phone. And uh, there's something called as wind down, which is introduced by Google to help you sleep. And the grayscale mode works as well. Uh, this is also done to make you help sleep. And then the new feature that's in Android Pi that is uh, introducing a timer onto an app so that it gets it gets grayed out once you use it above the estimated, I mean, stipulated time. Uh, and you can only use it once uh, a day passes by. So all the features which are exclusive to Android Pi work, the new recent bar seems to work. Only issues that there's no navigation gestures yet. And I think the devs at Unlegacy will probably work on it in the future. I mean, kudos to them for help making a ROM for an age-old device. Uh, most of the things work, and since I don't use this as a daily driver, I wouldn't recommend uh, you to make it, I mean, to recommend you to use it as a daily driver. But then if you want me to uh, test out any apps which might help you in making your decision, let me know down in the comments. I've run a few games, namely Motorsport Manager, Exploring Kittens. They seem to work fine. Uh, there's no issues with respect to performance in gaming, but I haven't run any graphically intensive games, so I won't know about that. Uh, Bluetooth seems to work as well, and location services and so and so also work. Wi-Fi works, so 
almost everything seems to be working but then once again as i said since i don't use this as a daily driver i won't recommend anyone to but then if you have any issues with respect to uh, some apps or some something that ha might help you make your uh, nexus 5 a daily driver running this rom let me know down in the comments so uh, uh, all the, the main reason behind making this video was I was genuinely impressed as to how well the Nexus 5 is able to run the latest version of Android. Not even 2% of the phones, uh, Android phones in the world are running Nexus in a legitimate Android Pi. So that's what made me made this make this video. So if you have any issues or doubts, please let me know down in the comments. I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.